times the words, O oh God, God, hear the words of my mouth. O oh God, hear the words of my mouth. sisters, if you are true and faithful, the day will come when you will be chosen, called up and anointed kings and queens, priests and priestesses, whereas you are now anointed only to become such. The realization of these blessings depends upon your faithfulness. Brethren and sisters, as you sit here, you will hear the voices of three persons who represent Elohim, Jehovah, and Michael. Elohim will command Jehovah and Michael to go down and organize a world. The work of the six creative periods will be represented. They will also organize man in their own likeness and image. Jehovah, Michael, see, yonder is matter unorganized. Go ye down and organize it into a world like unto the other worlds that we have heretofore formed. Come, Michael, let us go down. We will go down, Jehovah. Michael, see, here is matter unorganized. We will organize it into a world like unto the other worlds that we have heretofore formed. We are instructed to give unto you the law of consecration as contained in the Book of Doctrine and Covenants, in connection with the law of the gospel and the law of sacrifice, which you have already received. It is that you do consecrate yourselves your time, talents, and everything with which the Lord has blessed you, or with which he may bless you, to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, for the building up of the kingdom of God on the earth, and for the establishment of Zion. Each of you bring your right arm to the square. You and each of you covenant and promise before God, angels, and these witnesses at this altar that you do accept the law of consecration as contained in the Doctrine and Covenants, in that you do consecrate yourselves, your time, talents, and everything with which the Lord has blessed you, or with which he may bless you, to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, for the building up of the kingdom of God on the earth, and for the establishment of Zion. Each of you bow your head and say yes. Yes. That will do. We will now uncover the veil. Brethren and sisters, this is the veil of the temple. As all of you will have to pass through the veil, we will show you how this is to be done. The person is brought to this point, and the worker gives three distinct taps with the mallet. Whereupon the Lord parts the veil and asks, What is wanted? Adam, having been true and faithful in all things, 
desires further light and knowledge by conversing with the Lord through the veil. Present him at the veil, and his request shall be granted. The person is then brought to this point, whereupon the Lord puts forth his right hand, gives the first token of the Aaronic priesthood, and asks, What is that? The first token of the Aaronic priesthood. Has it a name? It has. Will you give it to me? I will through the veil. The person then gives through the veil the name of this token, which is the new name received in the temple today. The person is again brought to this point, and the worker gives three distinct taps with the mallet. The Lord parts the veil and asks, What is wanted? Adam, having conversed with the Lord through the veil, desires now to enter his presence. The Lord puts forth his right hand, takes the person by the right hand, and says, Let him enter. He is admitted into the presence of the Lord. First token of the Aaronic priesthood. It has. I will through the veil, Eli. What is that? The second token of the Aaronic priesthood. It has. I will through the veil, Heinrich. What is that? The first token of the Melchizedek priesthood, or sign of the nail. Has it a name? It has. I will through the veil. The sun. What is that? The second token of the Melchizedek priesthood, the patriarchal grip, or sure sign of the nail. Has it a name? It has. I cannot. I have not yet received it. For this purpose, I have come to converse with the Lord through the veil. You shall receive it through the veil. 